hello and welcome back to so april today i plan on sharing my frugal frock and if you're not aware of it um i do have a video previously discussing it um basically sam from frugalisma and ruan from yorkshire so girl got together and put this hashtag hashtag frugal frocks 2021 and it's a challenge and you basically get a free pattern and material from your stash and you make the dress up and you post it on Instagram I think today's the day that everybody's been posting I posted mine before today because I'm not part of their official vloggers um, but I did do the challenge and I wanted to make sure that it got posted because I'm very new to Instagram and I just wanted to make sure that it did get in there. There are prizes and everything and um, I'm enjoying looking at everybody's dresses on Instagram and watching everybody's videos on YouTube. Um, it's been really fun. It's Someone had commented that it was like trick-or-treating. I think it was uh, Delilah from I think it's simply Delilah. I think she had said that. If I'm wrong, someone please correct me. Um, anyway, so I will go ahead and describe what I did. The dress I'm wearing is my free pattern. I chose the Galena dress from Little Lizard King. I'm wearing my um, Chapman cardigan from Elia Mac today because it's really cold. I'll take it off in a minute to show you um, my kind of mistake. So, I went by the measurements on the pattern, but I, I'm not sure if, I think the material I had chose, this material is a DTY, I think it had a little less stretch than the recommended allowance, but I really wanted this material. I think this dress is so beautiful. Let me stand up. The, um... I'll just take my jacket off now. I love the colors of it, and I'll go on with the neck band and the sleeve band in a minute. Okay, so while I was putting it together, I looked at the pattern and I did go ahead and I went from a size 20 to a 22, and I probably should have done a full bust adjustment, but didn't really want to and I haven't really done one so I don't really know what I'm doing but anyways I usually just add to the side and add to the sleeve and I'm good um so what I did was I because I've never used this pattern before I put the pattern up to my mannequin by the way this is Joy I named her after Joy Bernhardt and I love her. Um, she's nice and thick like me. So what I did was I put the pattern piece and I thought, oh no, I think it might be a little bit snug, especially with the material not having quite as much stretch. So what I did was I thought, mm, I want this a little bit lower neck because that would be ridiculous to have the neckline too high. So I, I did not put the measurements on my pattern, so I need to do that. Um, I just added about hmm, about a half an inch on each shoulder, and I didn't do anything to the front. On the back, I okay. So I cut the front piece out, and when I did my adjustment thing here. I noticed that the shirt would have been like empire wasted so I had to add my normal two and a half inches that's my little rig up because I just added it from my mat and my ruler and I just cut so that was to let me know that that's how much I added when it was done I did actually have to take half an inch off so I did lengthen the bodice two inches. I'm 5'8", 
so, or about five out eight, about five eight, and that's usually about where I like my bodice. Um, now when I did cut the bodice, I'll just use this as an example. When I cut the bodice piece out, I put it up to Joy, and I thought, ooh, that's a tight fit. Okay, we might have a problem. So on the back bodice. I did add about a quarter of an inch on each side. I thought that might give me a little more room, and I'm glad I did. I think the the side seam is about where it needs to be, so I'm very happy with that. Um, now, since I added the height to the shoulder, I did not think about anything with a puff sleeve and so the pattern you gather between here and there to get the puff well since I added the height I took some of the puff away um, next time I think I might actually try not gathering it and maybe taking it in a little and just having it as a regular sleeve up top I don't know. Um, and then the bottom, uh, y'all, I did not even look at the instructions. I did look at the instructions when they were talking about the neck band. I haven't done the neck band the way that they described to do it. And if this material would have worked and I would have had it for the same as the sleeve, I would have done it the way the instructions said. But since I have a contrast. I thought, um, I, okay, so the way they do it is they want you to have this part sewed like that, and then you flip it on the inside and then top stitch it. Like I said, that would be fine if my, um, sleeve was the same color. The, I had to change the sleeve band because the material does not have enough stretch to have to work for a band and oh, I had to go through all my material because this is more of a cream it's not really a white so I looked through like three or four different whites I had none of them worked and then I looked through my greens because I thought well there's like this olivey green and oh, none of them worked and then I just so happened to look over at my other shelf and I was like, oh, I have this really pretty burnt orange um, rib knit. And, oh, it worked perfect. The shirt does have like orangish type flowers, so that worked out great. So since that was a contrast, I thought, you know what, I'll just make it as a regular neck band and I think it'll work out fine. And it did. I did have a slight problem with it because when I cut the neck band out, uh, somehow I cut it out wrong. I have no idea what I did. Like it was four inches too long and I sewed it up with my serger and everything and I was like, I put it on and I was like, this isn't right. Like it flipped forward and I'm like, ugh. So then for the first time ever. I decided I'm going to go ahead and calculate because maybe it's because I changed the band to make it this way instead of underneath. So I actually did the little calculator thing. I found one online and I was so impressed that I found one online. Then I got my tape measure and I thought, hmm, I want to measure it against the pattern piece just to see if it's similar or how far it's off from the calculation of them folding it under. I measured out, y'all, it was the same size. I was like, okay, yeah. So, <laughs> anyways, the only other change I added to the dress was the length. Um, when I put the cut pieces of the material up against my mannequin here. I thought mm, I like the length that it is now, 
So I just went ahead and added about an inch. That way I could fold it under twice and then sew it up and have it work out the length I wanted. So anyways, that is the Galena dress by the Little Lizard King. And it is in extended sizes. I want to thank Sam and Ruan for having this hashtag because it's always nice when you can use up stuff in your stash. I've had this material for a little while and, you know, I didn't know what I was going to make with it. And it's a great summer dress now. I'm really glad that I chose the shorter sleeves and I love the contrast. I think that is really nice. Um, please go ahead and check out other hashtag Frugal Frocks 2021. Um, on YouTube for the videos that everybody's talking about their dresses they made and on Instagram. So there's like a million pictures and a million dresses and I'm actually inspired by a few of them to make different ones myself. So anyways, I hope everybody's having a blessed day and go sew something. Bye.